Rondo is a brand new, massive map for PUBG. And what do I think of it? I love it! I've been totally blown away by this map so far. There is a huge variety in locations, buildings, terrain and biomes, unique structures, secrets and gameplay. We'll examine locations and features more closely later. But let's start with some chaos and shenanigans. Now, maybe you've seen a bunch of my videos already, <laughs> but in case you're new to my channel, as a PUBG player, sure, I can snipe. He's on the backside of the... <laughs> can use DMRs. And VSS. Shoot. And pull up plenty of wins. Oh, All I was was a fucking pinata, bro. <laughs> but really, I'm about the shenanigans. The explosions, the epic plays, the rolling C4s, the silliness. Just having a great time. My ideal loadout is actually a crossbow and an SMG or a shotgun. The crossbow still gives me the most satisfying kills in any game. Got one. <laughs> I generally take panzers, mortars, spike strips, tons of grenades and utility, and gliders as much as I can. Simply because they're all fun as hell to use. Even if I lose more games because of them. So, let's start with mortaring on Rondo. As people seem to love my mortar plays. Ah. Got him! Got him, nice. Funny enough, I think I've gotten my most accurate mortar kill in PUBG on Rondo already. This poor sap was spotted by my squad, so I sent two rounds towards them. It was a miss, but scared them into relocating, just not far enough. My team gave a location update. I sent another two shells, and... They just outright ate this one. As direct of a hit as possible. Got one. <laughs> nice. Good job. Nice. Here, we arrived at a crate, and I decided to set up the mortar. Inch kept watch for this VSS. I see him now. He's gone for the drop. And called out these guys approaching. Should I shoot? Uh, yes. Mm, wait. He's in the water. Yeah. It turned into a perfect double kill. Yeah. Yeah, I can see the drop. Oh, yeah, here he is. Sorry. There he is. Two on the drop. <laughs> oh my god, I'm going to send you a video of that. That was amazing. <laughs> in a solo, I spotted a smoke in a field pretty far away. And this poor guy had no clue. Nailed him right as he came out of it. And those really high up rock towers? I've tried, damn it, I've tried, but I'm still looking forward to mortaring jerks that are sniping up top. Next up, gliders. I can't explain how happy it made me to see gliders available immediately in Rondo. They took years to add them into Tego and Destiny. People hate on the bison, but it's one of my favorites for close flybys.
It's always such good fun to chase down vehicles. Oh. Or even crash through enemies. more enemies. Oh, and there's Panzers too. Great combo. Here, I was patrolling for enemies when I see a whole damn car posse waiting behind a rock pillar. As they drive in a circle, I swoop in for a rocket, but clip a lamppost, then spin out. Oh, I see them. They're coming. Oh, They're boy. Training. Oh, I see them now, yeah, yeah. One of them stopped a the fight, but it was a bad move. Wow, one guy jumped. Nice. I started to take off again, but hopped out on foot while my whole team circled in gliders. Oh They're right, God, on they me out. right on blue. Right on blue. One again. One I again. Stuck, up on, stuck up on their team, right? Took them out with grenades and my ump. Alright. Oh, nice. I need a res. I'm in the <clears> yep, I'm coming. Sure. Something beautiful about all the colors of smokes. And of course, there's plenty of glider fuck ups. Uh oh, 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 god. oh, god. oh god. Giving this guy a haircut. And taking them with me. Oh, fuck me! Oh my god, I'm knocked. I... <laughs> Another great move by PUBG was to add the blue chip comeback system to Rondo, which really should be in every map now. In this game, we lost two teammates early on, so Rona and I pushed a blue chip beacon, only to find another team doing the same, and I got killed. Ronan pulls off a 1v3, recalls all three of our blue chips, and then we're dropping back into a super late server. Mark. I'm gonna go punch him. With nothing on us. He's directly at your mark. With no guns, armor, or anything. Right here. He's re self reviving, I think. Ronan was holding a tough edge in a field with little cover. He trades hits with the sniper to pull aggro as we come down for the fisticuffs. I'm gonna hurt him some more. I'm gonna keep his. I'm gonna pull his aggro really hard. Okay. He's at the tree? Yep. Yep. That's the yep, tree on yep, blue. Yep. He's got a blue. He's got another hit on him. I'm gonna punch him. Yeah. He's got really focused on me. EMR out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was satisfying. I got some bare bones equipment off of him and managed two more knocks. Oh, he's out. Never mind. He's fucking over here. On he's over here. He's on. Nope. Here. I'm gonna try and crawl to this rock. Relatively. So. I'll be got out. two down over here. Before being killed. But then Devil managed to pull off the chicken. A hard one game. Jesus. Hey. Oh. Self revive. Yes. Yes. Self. 
Hey, I can't believe you guys won that. <laughs> How did we win that? <laughs> we punched this guy to <laughs> death. That was so good. Okay. Let's switch gears and look at the big landmark locations. There is a huge variety of these. Stadium has quickly become one of my favorite fighting locations. The loot here is really high, One's running to the and there seems to especially be a lot of panzers. That. Oh, he hit that in the face. Nice. You can access the roof through zip lines, but note that they're only on three sides. The northwest long edge doesn't have a zip line. Once up on the roof, it's wide open with very little cover. Six first, he's got the panzer. That's how we do the gang zip, baby. Apparently missed the, uh, my panzer. <laughs> so be wary of fights up here or bring a barricade. Here's a shield for you. You do get amazing sniper views down into the bowl. And you can walk onto the awnings to get better angles and sight lines below you. The really high roof support beams can also be climbed, which are a bit memey, but people often don't look up. It seems really hard to find crossbows on Rondo, but if you're lucky enough to find one, they're still as satisfying as ever. The roof is an excellent landing zone for your glider, likely even outside of hearing range for people below. It can be helpful to understand the layout of locker rooms and interiors in the stadium. First, know that both sides are mirrors, so there's two long sides and two narrow sides. They also all only have two floors. The narrow sides are simple. These are just single rooms that connect on both sides, though the top floor has two exits into the stadium interior. The longer sides are bigger. Still two floors, but with two entrances each. The top two entrances just go directly into the interior stadium with two doors on the inside each, but they do not connect to each other. Whereas on the bottom floor, they do connect between each other. This gives you some tactical knowledge of how you can reposition or trap people in certain areas. The center of the stadium also has a callback beacon, so even losing teammates here can be fixed quickly. The town outside of Stadium can also get pretty spicy, but it's mostly regular buildings and decent. And of course, because you obviously landed on the roof, your glider awaits for an easy takeoff to get in a circle. Also to note in Stadium Town is this girder tower at the opposite end. This tower is climbable and can give really high sniper angles. And as far as I can tell, it's unique on the map. I haven't found it anywhere else. Note that the edges have little lips on them, which greatly improves the cover when you go prone up here. There's also great cover on the side facing the stadium from the huge sign. And of course, you can always jump off with your always on parachutes. Let's take a look at my number one favorite location on the map, the theater in Zhao Tin. This is an entire level by itself, with a really great design that flows the combat all throughout the rooms at different heights. The roof looks very strong, but note that there's actually a full seven ways to reach the roof, so you can easily be surprised up here. There's only one zip line on the front, which is really good to know because it's a long way up to the roof otherwise. There's three separate internal stairwells that reach all floors and the roof, and two more zip lines in the back plus this internal broken ramp that reaches up top. Note that the structure on the roof is essentially a little bunker as it doesn't connect to anywhere below. This layout is just filled with interesting fighting angles and sniper vantages outwards and inwards. You can note that this area above the entrance is only accessible through this door, so it can be a good landing zone. Yeah. There's another one behind me somewhere, I think I was though it can also be reached by falling onto the balcony from above, which this player tried against me. People often miss this bathroom next to the foyer, so it can be a good place to hide and heal if you need to. 
The rest of Jiao Tin is fairly straightforward suburbs. Yeah. I see him. There's a few fun balcony jumps you can make, and we've had some awesome firefights here too. I'll give a quick shout out to Mayran. It's a fairly simple town, but there's actually a lot of ways to access the rooftops. A lot of the second floor windows can be vaulted out of and then climbed up onto the rooftops, and to be able to jump roof to roof. Some of the awnings can also be climbed to also give access up top. He's shooting me. Is that you? Oh Orange. yeah, I see him. Can you mark somewhere over here? Nice. Green, 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 on the fence. Oh, nice shot. Looking at Tin Long, it has all these open walkways all around the central temples. A really fun trick is that you can climb up onto these, but only from these two rooftops on the left and right. Be careful when jumping too, because the edge points here can't be walked on, you'll just slip off. Once up top, you can run the entire circuit and have perfect cover and height advantage for the whole compound. There's some really great sniper angles up here. There are some secrets coming down the pipe. There's a new mod purchase system coming in a future update to Rondo. It seems that you'll collect coins and spend them to purchase three vests, weapons, mods, and special flare items. We found trucks for this in multiple secret locations like the center of Jadena City, Kunzia up north, the middle of the Neox test track, and in the middle of nowhere in Jiaotin. Besides trucks, there's also big rooms with the same system, found in Castle and the Floating Restaurant. The Neox factory is huge and hectic. I won't get too much into detail here as there isn't many tricks to know about and the layout is a bit bland. The interior square manufacturing rooms are extremely close range, so shotguns definitely win here. The nearby test track first appeared useless to me, until I realized there are three secret on-ramps, which give it a lot more utility for rotations and height advantage. Oh. Which one did you knock? Uh, factory. While Jadena City was a slight disappointment, I do want to call it this really fun shopping mall on its east side. And there's a second mall north of the city on its own. These mall structures have really interesting layouts and zip lines. And we've had some really hectic firefights here. The floating restaurant is a fun, unique location too. I haven't fought here a ton, but I noticed that most players land on either the roof or the bottom floor. There's actually a small balcony on the second floor. Land here and hop in and you're immediately in the loot-rich main area. It's also possible to climb up here by climbing the external lions, giving another sneaky approach route. Beyond those special locations, even the smaller compounds, swaths of terrain, and basic structures have lots of variety and good gameplay. This map feels like love was poured into every little section, something I didn't feel as much of in San Hawk and Tego and not seen done this well since Miramar. I just absolutely love this terrain variety. The roads and bridges create excellent choke points for ambushes.
though there's always creative ways around them. This broken bridge is really cool, but for some reason the terrain to approach it is absolutely terrible for vehicles. But even when camping in ambush with a panzer, you still gotta land your shots. The big bridges have side struts that can be climbed, so it's exceptionally exposed. Maybe you can meme from over here. I've also tried to fit a glider through the bridge, but the first attempt was a fail. <laughs> it's not doing it. Oh god. <laughs> The Sky High Rock Towers are a really interesting feature as well. Not even close to the, they're just zooming by, but they're not Giving super high sniping well, positions. I'll, I'll let them... Oh, fuck it. Right. I only got Though it's easy to fall off accidentally. Alright. Oh, no. And there's surprisingly dense foliage blocking your setup there. I've had some great deaths on Rondo already as well. She said four was saved! I hit the wrong The Taser definitely feels like a potentially great new meme weapon, but I've only had mild success with it so far. Got him! <laughs> <laughs> I also don't know how I survived this Taser attempt. <laughs> to wrap it up, Rondo, in my opinion, is their best map since Miramar. Destin was a great hit after Tego, and Vikendi has always been a bit hit and miss, but I rank Rondo right up there with the original two. I'm glad to see PUBG at the top of their level design game. I can't wait for the next updates to Rondo. Hope to see you on the battlegrounds. And as always, GG's.